Hi, it's Louise from the Gilly Galoo Bird, and today I would like to go over our pole system and all its features that help to feed the birds, but not feed the squirrels. I love our pole system. There's so much versatility to it, and it's such a high quality. It's all steel, and it's black powder coated paint, which makes it a really nice in your yard as well. First, I wanna start off with this. We call it the twister. And as you can see, it turns and we auger this into the ground. And it's got two holes in which you can put a large screwdriver in, auger it in, auger it out if you need to move it or if you need to take it down or if you're moving, your system comes with you because these are so amazing, you'll not want to leave it behind. There's a lot of people that want to put their pool systems on decks or their ground being so rocky, they're unable to put the twister in. We have two other options. This is one option um, where the pool system would go in here and this just goes on the ground. And then the other one we have is a steel plate and both of these you can put the pole in and feel secure that it isn't going to blow over with any of the weight they're really great options when somebody can't get a twister into the ground with this system comes a 74 inch steel black powder coated paint pole and everything is separate because there is so much versatility to this pole um, and what you can add to it and how we build um, a bird feeding station. The main thing that helps is a squirrel baffle. So this one rocks. It has the part that attaches to the pole underneath and you allow it to rock. The reason is once the squirrel, if it ever gets its feet, on here it'll rock and it'll slide off this is a must to make this work you need to be 12 to 15 feet away from anything and that's a wall a stone that's up three three feet a backyard fence a tree squirrels have the ability to really jump so these work really well when you have the room talk on what we can put on top. Today I'm demonstrating the forearm, but we have a two arm and a three arm that you can put on the top. And if you want to do a fly through feeder, you can put a flange on top and add a fly through feeder that would be able to just put the seed in and then the birds can just come to the opening. Showing you the feature of the flange. So it's two is a steel black powder coated paint and you would screw it to the bottom of a feeder this is another feeder it's more like a hopper and it too has the holes in the bottom to keep the seed dry and you would put the flange here instead of the four arms and this would be sitting on the top rather than the four arms <laughs> Some of the feeders that we're featuring on this pole system, we have this, it's a really cool um, feeder that has the holes in the middle. So you fill it with black oil sunflower seed, nuthatches, chickadees, even cardinals really like this one because there's a landing space in the middle. Very nice for the birds regarding having predators. We've also talked a lot about the nuisance birds or the bigger birds that come in and take seed. This is a very high seller. It's a cage and you put your feeder in there and it allows the birds to come through and you don't get the grackles taking all the seed. I've uh, recently heard from a lady in Florida and she sent me a picture of a cardinal sitting in the cage so i do know cardinals so if you have patience even the cardinal will come in through the the cage 
Another really nice feature to have on your pool system, if you don't have a bird bath around, is a water feature. You would fill this with water and the birds would get it right here. So it would be more for birds to drink water. It's a nice uh, glass jar. And that would be one that should make sure that you keep it clean as you're filling it. Another feature is a finch. So what I'm showing you here is a wide variety of presentation of seed for the birds. So this is what you would put Niger in and you get all your finches, purple finch, house finch, gold finch, pine siskins, red poles. I've even seen chickadees come to this up at the cabin. So all of these show a really nice presentation and it allows you to feed the birds and not feed the squirrels. If you're worried about the squirrels, birds are a little bit of messy eaters, so they will clean up on the ground. The other type of platform feeders we have is the barn. It too has the same features of holes in the bottom so your seed can stay dry. On the bottom here is wood. So you would put a flange on there and put it on the top of your pole. And we do have different ones, some in barn board, cedar for sure, that could also go on your pole system. There are so many more features that can go with this pole system. There are small arms like this that can be added. It comes in 8 inch and 16. There's what we call a branch hook and it would hang out like this. So it affords you more things to put on your pole. And another water feature, which I really like, is this hooks on to the pole system. It's a really great feature. And the birds, of course, need water at all times for either bathing and or drinking. Great features to go with our pool system as well. I love this four-way. It's one of those multi-use feeding trays for birds. It has steel with holes, so you get good drainage and the air gets through and dries out your seed so it doesn't go mushy in the rain or the snow. It can either hang or it has a hole right here. And what that hole is for is it is to go just over the baffle. So you would put it down to here and you would be able to spread seed here and be able to feed the birds on a platform feeder. I just love our pool system. It just affords you to have so many different ways to feed the birds. So do check us out online at gillygalooberd.com or come down to 14 Mill Street in Almont. We're always happy to help and to answer your questions. You can go to our website and join our email list. And please send us an email if you have any questions or your successes with your, our pool system. We really look forward to helping you with all your birding needs. The Gilly Galoo Bird, Eastern Ontario's Backyard Birding Specialists.